The Australian Signal Directorate's annual report has revealed that suspected cyber attacks have more than doubled in the past year. Businesses are being warned that they have about five years to overhaul their cyber defences because AI will turbocharge these threats. Joining me is IBM Australia and New Zealand Managing Director Nicholas Flood. Nicholas, thanks so much for your time. So how concerned are you about, you know, this turbocharging of cyber threats? Great to be with you, Laura. Uh, there's two areas of concern that the IBM team and I have. Firstly, let's talk about AI. I'd also like to talk about quantum in a minute. So it's unquestionable that AI is helping cyber criminals uh, craft more convincing scams, uh, whether that's uh, impersonation attempts, uh, phising emails, uh, or indeed social engineered cyber attacks and threats. Let's just take a specific example. There's many generative AI capabilities that are open source, free to use today, where with just a small number of minutes of an audio file of someone speaking, a cyber criminal can, can compose a very credible um, impersonation of a loved one, a senior business leader. They can then use that generative AI capability to mount a cyber attack where people believe that they're talking to someone of influence, a loved one, someone that they care for, who may have a legitimate need to be requesting a transfer of money, for example. Generative AI has lowered the bar, Laura, so that mm. uh, the more sophisticated attacks can now be perpetrated by a greater number of cyber criminals. So definitely a huge area of concern in regard to the emergence of generative AI capabilities mm. and those that want to use those tools for nefarious purposes. And is that a separate from quantum? Uh, it, it absolutely is, but it also goes hand in hand. One of the uh, things that's really creating a lot of discussion among the global cybersecurity analyst community uh, is a day that they call Q-Day, Laura. Uh, so Q-Day uh, is the day when a quantum computing capability will emerge that can crack the widely used cryptography methods that are really securing all of the world's secrets, whether that's hospital records, uh, police and incarceration records, uh, your bank balances, your location history on your phones. All of that data today is being secured by modern cryptography standards and approaches. Unfortunately, uh, the power of quantum computing uh, is very, very profound when it comes to current models of cryptography. Mm. So when Q-Day arrives, which some pundits believe uh, could be a 30% chance of arriving between now and 2035, that will render the world's secrets uh, open for all eyes to see. So that's definitely another item that we're tracking closely here at IBM, looking to prepare Australian yeah. enterprises so that they can be quantum safe. It's really interesting to see where the line of responsibility is, whether it's a company or the individual. Do you have a view on that? I think it's multifaceted. Uh, so if I touch on the first set of examples I shared, Laura, um, the individual is the first line of defence. And in all of ASD's recommendations, including their most recent report, they speak to the urgent need for us to increase cyber literacy. Uh, that's mums and dads. Uh, it's, uh, it's elderly and it's young people alike, and it is absolutely also enterprises. Everyone needs to be equipped uh, with a greater set of skills so that they can uh, understand what is a impersonation, what is a legitimate request for a, a money transfer. What I'm also enthused about, Laura, though, is that it's not all bleak. Uh, for example, last night I was sitting next to um, a very senior leader of one of Australia's big four banks and they were talking about how they're using generative AI to protect their customers. Let me expand a little bit further. So customers of banks uh, often get scam calls. Uh, this bank uh, have uh, developed thousands of uh, generative AI chat agents uh, so that when the scammer calls uh, the customer, uh, that call is intercepted. Uh, and it's a generative AI chat agent on the other end of the phone who's talking to the scammer. Um, mm, okay. Something that was wild for me, Laura, to, was to ask the gentleman that I was speaking to, uh, what's the maximum duration that a mm. scammer was talking to one of these chat uh, agents, thinking that they were talking to a real person? And it was 57 minutes. I think that gives you a sense for how wow. convincing uh, some of these counter defences can be. And they're relentless, they are. Uh, terrifying, yet a little bit hopeful in our chat today, Nicholas. I appreciate it. Indeed, absolutely.